Hey guys, Crewman here, and I woke up, opened up my phone, and saw an article that made my mouth drop. So from videocards.com, link down below, according to a report from Tech Power Up, software engineers and modders have managed to bypass NVIDIA's BIOS mismatch restrictions through the discovery of a backdoor. So for anyone who doesn't understand this, and this is me speaking in layman's terms, a BIOS is basically the operating system of a GPU. It tells a GPU what to do. Like when you have an OC GPU versus a non-OC GPU, like say an ASUS tough OC versus a non-tough OC, it basically uh, the BIOS tells it to, clock, to run its clock speed slightly higher than what NVIDIA would recommend. So you would get, in theory, you would get slightly better performance. Now, you know, you, depends on the generation of the GPU, but you know, you're talking about a few percentage points at best. AMD usually leaves, leaves higher overclocking headroom for comparison's sake. So, you know, that just basically means you wouldn't have to do the OC yourself in Afterburner. So that's just a basic, you know, bare bones understanding of BIOS. They're way more complicated than that. So as far as I understand it, going off of this article, and I am not an expert in the subject, I know barely enough to break something. But if this news is true, and I believe the sources, and this is going to have massive implications in both positive and negative ways, to get an idea of what I'm talking about, you just have to look at the AMD Polaris and Navi generations of GPUs. You can do things like changing the BIOS to a totally GPU to gain performance, aka turning a 5600 XT into a 5700 non-XT, which I did a few weeks ago, or tuning an RX or turning an RX 480 into an RX 580. Things like improving the performance for crypto mining by updating the timings in the GPUs, to things like improving the performance for crypto mining by updating the GPUs timing using a program like More Power Tool. So what this potentially could mean for NVIDIA's GPUs. And this is me speculating based on my understanding of GPUs, what you can already do with AMD GPUs, and my limited understanding um, on how fixing GPUs and how their BIOSes work. So the first thing you could do is, you could theoretically f take a BIOS that would enable more power draw for theoretically more performance. For example, you could take your MSI 4090 and flash it with the Strix 4090 BIOS and draw way more power than intended. Like I think they take up to 700 watts. Not sure if you would want to, but you could. You could say take, uh, a th another thing you could do is you could take a 3090 ASUS Tough OC and you could flash it with the, the non-OC BIOS to use a little less power or you could take something or you could do the, the inverse or you could even take a Founders Edition and you could flash an ASUS Tough OC BIOS onto it to maybe get a little more performance. If you have a GPU that needs to be repaired or you repaired it, you could maybe disable phases and update the BIOS to use less power to make it run more stable. For crypto mining, you might be able to improve the timings. I'm not sure if this would work the same way as it does on older Polaris G AMD GPUs, but in theory it could and you know we might be able to squeeze another 10 to 15% out of all of our GPUs. So that's a huge deal for crypto miners, if true, and you know I think it will have massive implications on potentially the used market of NVIDIA GPUs if miners start scooping up the 30 series, especially with the unimpressive performance of the 40 series. Speaking of the 40 series, you might be able to do things like take a 4070 and give it a 4070 Ti BIOS to unlock some to unlock some performance, or more importantly, since I know the 4060 is just a cut down 4060 Ti, you might even be able to do the same and try to get a little bit more performance out of that, and it might almost make it worth buying. I doubt it, but you know, you never know. Uh, and at 30, at $300, maybe a 3060 or 4060 Ti would be worth buying. That's a big maybe. Now, one of the negative side effects that you could see on this is. Someone could sell you a 3060 Ti, but it's really a 980 Ti with a 3060 Ti BIOS flashed on it, and it won't work properly. Now, this is an unfortunate side effect and something that you know has happened on GPUs in the past. Now, it's going to make me wary of, say, buying GPUs from AliExpress or you know sites like that, or like Wish.com or sites that I normally wouldn't buy a GPU on anyway. And if I'm going to buy a used GPU, I'm definitely only going to be buying with PayPal protection, uh, you know, 
and I won't be probably buying them in person as I usually don't do that anyway. And you're definitely going to have to test your GPUs. A link down below on the video that I set up for to show people how to test their GPUs. Now that we got the bad news out of the way, I just want to say that I have not been this excited with GPU news since the early 4090 leaks and to a lesser extent the potential of the iGPUs for the next gen uh, AMD CPUs that are releasing. This is going to change how NVIDIA GPUs work as we know it, especially if you are in the enthusiast space or the crypto mining space. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please take a look at this article. I think it's very, very interesting and I will update you guys as I hear more on this and I will definitely be doing a lot of content on this uh, as this editor becomes public and I get my hands on it. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe for more GPU news and PC news and just tech content out there. I, I'm so excited for this. <laughs> And I can't wait to see what Crazy BIOS is release. Crew man, out.